Hey guys, on this episode of Real Cleaning, you're gonna see the downside of commercial cleaning jobs. You can see I got my glasses on, it's dark outside, it's a nighttime job. Getting ready to go to a uh, restaurant we clean monthly, fast food restaurant. We clean the carpet and the tile every month. We've been doing it now, this is only the third uh, visit. Uh, it actually won't take real long, it just sucks that you gotta wait till they close. I'm filling up my tank. Felicia's gone ahead. She's going to get the tables moved so we can get a quick start. Uh, we were running a little late, so she's got to get there before they lock the doors. Uh, I got about half a tank before I can head out that way. So uh, I'll update you here in just a few minutes when we get started. Right, guys I'm here at the restaurant I'm getting ready to walk in and take a look see what we got I can see Felicia's got all the chairs up uh, like I said this has been exactly one month since we cleaned it last this is the third month we've cleaned it so let's see how this carpet's holding up to a monthly cleaning okay so this is the carpet after one month I'll link a video in the description of the first time we cleaned it right here doesn't look bad at all this grout the first time we cleaned it looked black it's starting to, it's starting to look black again it's actually a red color let's get started it has started pouring down rain so we put the rain jacket on and get started All right, we got everything unloaded. Of course, it poured down raining the entire time. Stopped raining about the time I pulled my last hose. So here's what we're gonna be working on. I always clean this little section first while Felicia finishes up the vacuuming. And move all the tables into this little section and clean the remainder of the carpet and the tile. I'm using uh, BioBreak with Citrusol for my pre-spray this time. Uh, using high test alkaline cleaner for the tile mixed up in a five gallon bucket. We're gonna pour it in, mop it around. So let's get started.
Alright, we got that little square done, got all the tables moved. We're giving, giving some vacuuming lessons. I'm going to start pre-spraying where they've already vacuumed. So we can knock out this side of the dining room. This little area here where my sprayer is at is always the worst of the carpet. This is where the employees come walking out from the kitchen. You can see it's greasy. But it always cleans up nice, so I can't clean it talking on here, so let's get started. All right, folks, so at this point I've pre-sprayed uh, the carpet. You can see the greasy areas. You can see that grease already lifting up. That's why it looks so funky in the traffic lanes. And while we let that dwell, we're going to go ahead and do some of the tile. So Felicia's spreading out that high test tile cleaner. We just pour it out of the five gallon bucket, spread it with the flat mop nice and heavy. The longer it sits, the better. So killing both birds with one stone here, giving it plenty of time to dwell. But this stuff, if you can let it sit for 10 minutes, you don't have to scrub at all. It'll lift all that grease right out of those grout lines. You can actually see it, see it work in there. It's amazing stuff. We use, I use about three quarters of a gallon in a five gallon bucket. So I'm gonna switch over to the tile tool. We'll spin a little section and then carpet a little section. And then we'll spin our way out the door. All right guys, a little bit of last for me tonight. I had the nipple break off of the disconnect on my super on my tile spinner. So we actually just pulled the super spinner right over from the carpet to knock this tile out. Sometimes at night you don't have a choice, so it works. It doesn't uh, doesn't extract as well, but it does okay. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Now you can see those red grout lines. So there you go, Eric. A little bit of zipper blasphemy tonight. But hey, if it's stupid and it works, then it's not stupid. The dry pass it's good to go. Probably giving my glide hell right now, but gotta get done. You can definitely see where we stop there. Nice solid line, nice red grout, black grout. So this is what happened, went to grab the spinner and disconnect broke right off. So, having to make do tonight.
just finished up the carpet with the zipper SS. Switch over to my new favorite tool, this crevice tool. I'm going to use it to blast a couple spots on this tile along the edges. A couple spots under the drink cooler. And then we'll finish up the tile on our way out the door. We've got this section uh, mopped down with the high test. I'm actually cheating a little tonight. I just laid my hose right on the edge of this carpet. Normally I always do tile on my way in. Uh, that way I don't get my hoses all nasty, but today we're going to cheat because I figure if I get a little bit on the carpet then I can just make a pass or two on the edge of the carpet again. won't hurt a thing since I'm not even unhooking the zipper SS tonight. Doing it all with the zipper. And you can really see that high test working in that grease and grime just lifting right out of those grout lines. You can see where we stopped right here. Is where we stopped on the first section. We mopped up to right here on the corner. And then we mopped the back side she's mopping down now. We'll do that. Get outside out the way and do the entrance way. So that's where we're at. I'm just giving it a few minutes to stuff this works amazing if you just let it sit. You don't have to scrub, you don't have to work your tail off. You just let it sit for a few minutes and then spin it, spin it right off. So. <laughs> now I'm doing twice the spinning with zipper tonight. It leaves a little more water, but man, it does actually work good. I might have to buy some new glides for it. <laughs> a lot of these tiles have some lippage and it's eating that, that eating that, uh, Teflon to glide up. But I think that's sit long enough. I'm getting impatient. So let's give it a crack. We just finished up, uh, and of course it started raining again just in time to pack it up. But we're done for tonight, and I got everything cleaned up. Going to close it down and head to the house, so another long night. Uh, but not, not too bad, I think about two hours from start to finish for this uh, fast food restaurant carpet and tile. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you watch uh, the first cleaning we did here. So you can see how how we started when we first started this this restaurant had never been professionally clean it's been open about five years so now we got it back under the routine every month so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe